right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Harry Potter Clue. Nice. And do you like Harry Potter Clue? Yeah. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've always liked Clue. Mm-hmm. And add in some Harry Potter fun? Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> And does it make a difference? Does the game play differently? Yes, very much so. Oh, well, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, for starters, there's no death. Nobody was murdered, Nobody huh? was murdered. It was just a Whew. disappearance of a student. Nice. So we take on the roles of other students trying to solve the mystery? Yes. And the setup starts out different, too. Okay. Because we have help cards and dark marks. And house points. Oh, house points. Oh, I hate house points. <laughs> <laughs> Those always get you out. Because what happens if you run out of house points? If you run out of house points, you're out of the game. That's something I'm very familiar with. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't think my father has gone through an entire game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe once, but every other maybe. time I'm running out of house points. <laughs> Dang it. All right. So, you everybody starts out with their house points. And you deal out the cards, but everybody gets this, the same amount of cards. And any extras you put in Dumbledore's office along with the, the solution. The yes. Yeah, nice. Okay. And then it's played like normal Clue mostly? Kind of. <laughs> when you start out rolling, you have your normal two dice, but you also have an extra dice. Oh, so you start with this one. Yes. And what does that do? You will roll it and on different places it has all these different houses. Okay. And along the edge of the board there are houses and if you roll the dice you move this one notch and these things change. Oh. And sometimes the doors change if they're locked or not. Oh, so show me, the, show me a locked door. There oh, there you go. go. So doors can be blocked. Yes. I also saw it changes the secret passage. Mm-hmm. Nice. So just like the moving corridors in the actual book, you go and go to different rooms. Yes, you and do. And all of those are different. So you've got the different house corners where things are shifting. And I saw that black spot that you moved that one to. Yes, that's a dark mark. Those are also on the dice. So you can roll a dark mark or you can roll a corridor that changes shifts to a dark, to dark mark, mark, which does what? Dark marks are bad. usually get rid of your house points. <laughs> what does that one say? Um, it's to all characters in the divination classroom. Your tea leaves show the grim you panic. Lose five house points. So you're going to lose five house points unless... Unless you have a help card, which in okay. this case would be Professor McGonagall. Nice. So I see a stack of help cards. How do you get those? Help cards. Everybody starts out with one help card. And on the dice, you can roll... This star, which okay. is a help card. Also, on the board, if you land on one of those, you can also get a help card. So there are good ways to get help cards all along the way. What do yes. they look like? They're all different. There are spells, allies, and items. Okay. So and show me a bunch of, those of them. Yeah. They're different. Oh, you can get the Weasley twins. Yes. Nice. So all of those are going to block, so when the dark mark shows up, it'll say, oh, unless you have this, you don't lose the points. Yes. So then after you roll that dice, what do you do? After you roll the dice, you always start out with that one, so you'll change everything before you actually move your person. Okay. Then you can move around the board. Just like a normal, you roll your two white dice. Can't go through block doors. But once you're in a room, uh -huh. you have your little... Mark card thingy. You will guess a sp suspect, item, and location, and you will go around in a circle around the board. Once you guess one of each, you'll go around in a circle, and if one of those people has one, they will show you the card, and you can mark it off. So you're like, oh. So that's that part, whatever. that's the part that's like normal yes, clear. That's, <laughs> that's not like normal. Moving to a room and guessing and having them show you your cards. Yeah, and. You might want to make your way to Dumbledore's office if there are extra cards in there because you will need to look at those cards as well so you don't guess that in your suspect. Ah. So you can go get help from Dumbledore, peek at those, as well as seeing cards that are in other people's hands. Yes. Nice. Right, so there's a lot of ways to figure it out and you've got to do it before you lose house points. Yes. Try to keep your house points. <laughs> there's nice. no... 
gaining house points, there's only losing house points. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> yeah, that's a bugger. So that's the one thing I don't like about the game is just as I'm getting close to solving it, I run out of house points and I'm out of the game. <laughs> that's never happened to me. But then I still have to sit there and show people cards if they're guessing those. That yeah. is true. But overall, pretty fun game? Yes, for All sure. All right. What would you rate Harry Potter Clue? Five! Oh, you didn't even hesitate. <laughs> Like this is one of those that it seems like every time. What game do you want to play? Uh, Harry Potter Clue. <laughs> that's true. All right. Anything else you want to tell us about it? No. I think that's it. All right. Thanks, Brooke. You're welcome. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.